Hello and welcome. My name is Lexi Jong and here I like to talk about luxury makeup. Today we are just doing a quick little swatch party. We are going to be going through all of the shades that I own of the Givenchy Le Rouge Sheer Velvets as well as the Givenchy Le Rouge Deep Velvets. So I do have lip swatches of everything and I will put those at the end of the video so you can feel free to look at those at your leisure. But first, let's start off with a little bit about these products. So the Sheer Velvets have kind of a Dusty Rose Velvet case. So these are a Sheer Velvet. I have one on my lips right now in shade 23. And the Givenchy packaging, you've got the Givenchy logo here. You've got these little like um, pyramids here and the one side has the Givenchy stripe. So you can just pull this out and then here's the actual product. You can see you've got the Givenchy logo embedded in the lipstick. And then the bottoms, you may see your number with a name or if you have one, like this is, these are refillable. So they don't have refills for all shades available yet. So some of the shades, like these in particular that I have, this one is a refill. So instead of being able to find the name and number on the bottom, it's actually right here on the refill. So it's easy to, you know, switch them around later. So right now they do have refills available for, I forget, like four or six shades, but more shades will be coming next year. And same thing here with the deep velvets. The deep velvets have a red velvet case instead of the pink. And if it's not a refill one, you do have the name down at the bottom, but these are refillable in the same way for the shades that have refills. And then the holiday, one of the ones I have is the holiday. This is number 37 Rouge Grenet in the deep velvet. The holiday packaging has a black velvet case that has gold instead of silver. The shade here is part of the permanent line in the velvet. So just so you know, you can get this in the red case as well. Now Givenchy does have a ton of different, like, um, you know, their different lines have some different cases, holidays and so forth. You get different cases and these are all completely interchangeable among all of the lipsticks from Givenchy. So let's start with swatches and we're going to go in numerical order. We're going to start with the sheer velvets. So this one here is almost missed the first one. <laughs> this one here is number 16 nude boise. So here's one layer and on this half, I'm just going to go over it a bit so you can see how you can build it. That's one of the great things about these sheer velvets is that you can really put them on to get a very soft light look or you can build them up and have more pigment, but they feel pretty weightless on your lips. So 17, Rouge Erabla. And for many of these shades, they have a velvet version and a sheer version. So this one here was 17, Rouge Erabla. Now 18, Nude Fume. You can see this one has a little bit more of a mauve tone to it. This is one of my lips, 23, Rose Irresistible. 27, Rouge Infusé. 36, Lantardy. 37 Rouge Granet. So if we take a look at these, these are all of the sheer velvets. You can see with one layer, you can get kind of a sheared color. One of the great things about this formula is that they have this blurring effect. So you have kind of blurred edges around the lips, but it also does help to blur any of the lines in your lips. Uh, I think it does that more effectively when you put on more than just one sheer layer, personally. So this is probably about three layers that I have on my lips. You can see that it really gives my lips, like the actual lip part here, kind of a blurred effect as well. So texturally, 
once they're on your lips, it feels kind of like if you had like a cream blush that dried, you know, and left no tacky feeling, like it doesn't feel like anything's there. It just feels very, very smooth to the touch. So, um, you know, that's kind of how they feel when you first put it on. It feels almost like a very thin layer of silicone and powder, and then it just kind of sets and it just feels like your lips, but smoother. So if we're going through the colors here, 16 Nude Boise, you can see that this is going to be a nude brownish pink shade. 17 um, Rouge Rabla. This one has a little bit more of like a brown and brick red mixed together. So it's still a nude, but it's going to be warmer in tone, has a little bit more red. It's a little more pigmented. 18 Nude Fume. This one is, it has a little bit of plum in it, a little mauve. So it's like kind of a, a mauve rose, um, but more mauve with a touch of rose. So this one's going to be cooler in tone. 23, Rose Irresist Irresistible. I'm not sure exactly how to say it, um, but this is going to be more of like that warm carnation pink. So it's neutral leaning warm. And then this one here is 27, which is called rouge infusé and this one you can see is going to be like a warm rosy shade with a touch of orange in it and a little bit of brown so i think that's really pretty very very beautiful for warmer skin tones 36 lanterdi this is their classic like tomato red you can see that it's a neutral red here and then we have 37 uh which is rouge grenet and this is going to be a deeper, more of your burgundy red, and it's going to be cooler in tone. Now let's take a look at the velvets. And you can see that the velvets are going to be much more pigmented. This is 10 beige new. So you can see where I go over it. It's still pretty much the same level of pigmentation with just one swipe. So Beige New, I think, is a really beautiful shade. It's one of my most worn lipsticks. Um, another one here that I really love is Rose Boise. This is 14. This one here is 36 Lanterdi. So that's the one that's going to match this one here. So you can see that the tones of the red are a little bit different. Um, you know, this is not only is it softer, but pigmentation is slightly different in these. This one has like a little bit more pink. This, the classic deep velvet version is slightly warmer in tone than the sheer velvet version. And then we have 37 Rouge Grenet in the deep velvet, which is the same as this one right here. You can see that the tones for this match a bit more, but again, the sheer velvet is just slightly cooler. And that may possibly be because you're seeing a little bit more of the undertones, you know, as it shears out. And then our last one here is 38 Granat Fume. So for the nude velvets or the deep velvets, we have Beige New, which is a pinky nude shade. Then we have um, Rose Boise, which, which is number 14. And this one is really gonna be your cool tone. Like it's really more of a plum shade. Uh, it's really, really pretty. It's plum with some pink. 36 Lantern D is classic tomato red. It's pretty neutral. 37 Rouge Grenet is going to be your burgundy red with some pink in it. You can see it's got cool undertones. And 38 Granat Fume is going to be a really deep, berry shade. So this is actually got cool undertones. It's got the pinky cool undertones to it, but it builds up and it's a really deep berry with a touch of purple in it. So those are all of the ones that I have. Now, honestly, going through these and doing like tons and tons of comparisons would take forever to go through everything. I do have videos that have some of these with some comparisons already so i will leave those linked down below in the description box however if you have any specific requests please let me know and i will be sure to either include that in an update video or you can dm me on instagram i can send you like a photo or something right away so thank you so much for watching but i do want to say that the velvet formulas from givenchy both the deep 
and the sheer formulas are my absolute favorites. So if you're looking for a velvet lipstick, Givenchy velvets are my favorite. I know a lot of people ask, you know, whether I prefer them over Lisa Eldridge. I, I actually do. Um, I find the deep velvet to be very creamy and moisturizing on the lips. It doesn't dry down like a regular matte lipstick does. It doesn't have that powder finish. It stays creamy on the lips and the pigmentation is there. So none of these lipsticks are transfer proof. However, they have enough pigmentation in the base there that you're going to have pigment on your lips all day. If I apply this early in the morning, then at, you know, like around lunchtime or whatever, I start topping it with like a gloss or um, a lip balm or something. By the end of the day, my sip lipstick still looks good. So I'm very happy with the performance on these. Uh, no issues with feathering or bleeding or anything like that. The sheer velvets do give you that blurred edge effect, but it doesn't migrate from there. It stays <laughs> where it is when you apply it. So, you know, I have to say, I absolutely love these formulas. I find them both to be very, very comfortable on the lips. The sheer velvets, you don't really feel like anything's on there. The deep velvets, you know, obviously they're gonna be a little bit thicker in formulation and they just have a really nice creamy feeling to them. So I have to say, these are some of my favorite lipsticks of all and I would definitely recommend giving them a try. So I'm going to go ahead and share the lip swatches with you. And thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great day.
So I hope that was helpful. And again, if you have any particular comparison requests, the best way would be to DM me on Instagram at Alexis Jong. So I can send you, you know, a comparison photo right away. But otherwise, you know, feel free to leave a request down below in the comments. I can incorporate it into an update video or something of that sort. So thank you so much for tuning in. And if you enjoyed this or found it helpful, please give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't already and share this with your friends. I'll see you very soon. Have a great day.